it's Pete here and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. It feels so great to be able to delve back into this. If you haven't ever played it before, all you have to do in BBO is click uh, Solitaire, then find the weekly free instant tournament. So give that a shot, play the boards if you haven't done so already, and let's get into it. Okay, so here I have 10, 13 points, balanced hand, but uh, kick things off with one spade. And partner bids one no trump. This isn't a forcing one no trump because partner's already passed already. I don't really have anything else to say, so uh, we'll just pass that. And here we are in one no trump where we've got three heart winners, the diamonds four, and we want to build tricks in either diamonds or spades. And it looks like uh, spades is a good way to start. And for that, I just want to lead a spade towards the jack and a spade towards the king and see how they actually break. Just in the bidding, two passes there. We've got uh, nine ops at 13, so uh, 22, 18 missing. And the two of hearts lead. All right. So we'll just uh, win that first one and just start uh, working on spades. Um, I won it cheaply so that I had multiple entries to that north hand. Okay, so ace of spades there. Queen's there, that's a good start. Uh, we will cover the jack. My eight looks like it'll promote down the line. We're just missing the ace and 10 at this stage. Okay, just the 10. Okay. Um, all right, so East has the Queen of Spades and the top club. I have to lose at least one spade. Uh, why didn't West push a diamond through? They've probably got the King. Anyway, I'll win this and just return one. Nine. And yeah, they get their club. And now we've got the, the rest. So that eight of clubs will throw that diamond away. Uh, so we'll just win that. Eight of clubs throw the diamond away and then the rest of the tricks are ours. So narrowly come home to uh, one no trump. But 89%. So quick look here. Everyone's in one no trump basically, but uh, not everyone's making it. So let's have a quick look how some people went wrong. Heart lead, and they started on diamonds first. Um, so I, I think spades leading towards the king jack is the best step. So winning this heart cheaply in the north hand for multiple entries to the north hand, uh, I think worked well. Moving on to board number two, and we've got uh, 12, 16 high card points and a seven card club suit. So I could double and bid clubs, or I could just overcall two clubs. Um, if the auction gets escalated quickly, let's say it goes one heart, double, three hearts, pass, pass. I'll be in a sort of tough spot there. So I'll just start by bidding two clubs. And three clubs feels like a bit of an underbid. Uh, for me to make game, I sort of need partner to have a heart stopper and a club card. So at match points, I think this is okay. That is a peculiar bid. Wow. How on earth do they actually do that? That's like, what's their partner meant to do? Um, I have absolutely no experience with this spot. So let's try and work out. Firstly, do I think I'm gonna make four clubs? I've got two heart losers, a diamond, and say two club losers. I need partner to fill in two of them, and I've passed and passed. Secondly, do I want to double three spades? Uh, well, we've got two spades, diamond and a club. My partner could easily have another trick, but uh, no guarantees. My ace of clubs easily could not stand up with this sort of auction. So I guess just passing it out, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so eight of clubs lead, uh, it's a good start for us. So, um, 
We're missing two, three, four. We're missing the five and the queen. So clubs are two, two, or my partner's got a singleton club. Um, the diamonds aren't going anywhere in a rush, so we'll just return a club here. I could have returned a low club for suit preference, but uh, my partner's not really good at... Um, I'm not sure if the robots play suit preference there, so a, a lower club would have been a better play anyway, just in case. Uh, diamond up. So West has like six spades, three hearts, three clubs, and one diamond. So that's all of their tricks. So we're just going to try and get Trump promos at this stage. There's one. And... We have no more outside tricks, so even though there's a rough and discard, we'll see if that works. So they're cashing their hearts. Looks like doubling this would have been the uh, best bet. And they've got the uh, rest of the tricks, so down two and probably like 35%, but I have no idea. Wow. 64. Okay, so people weren't doubling this. And some people were just bidding four clubs. So as I said, four clubs, we needed a bit too much from my partner, but I'm surprised that people weren't doubling this auction. It's pretty crazy. And you do have uh, reasonable defense, but um, like, I am remarkably happy with 64% there. When I didn't feel like I'd done the best thing possible on the hand. Uh, flat 15 counts, so nice easy one, no trump opening. Two spades here. This is just invitational with four card spade suit. So here I'm just minimum and I don't have a fit. So I'll just pop it into uh, two no trumps. I do have aces, which means that maybe I should go. Um, at imps, I probably would have bid three no trumps, but match points, I didn't really feel like it was worth, worth it. Okay, so we have two clubs, a diamond and a heart is four, two spades is six, the spade finesse working will be eight. So we wanna start with a spade finesse, although diamonds could be a reasonable proposition as well. So I could hope that the diamond, like on a 10 third is on side with, with diamonds, but. I think just a spade finesse is a good start. It's 50% just to be making straight up. Okay. Queen of diamonds is a bit of an ominous switch. <clears throat> so like, why did they not continue clubs? Why did East switch to the queen of diamonds? So I think East might've switched to like a singleton queen of diamonds. Um, I don't like my gut feel was, ah, oh, let's just like work on diamonds and cross up and lead another diamond up. Hopefully they've got the 10. Um, but it seems so far fetched. That queen of diamonds play seems really out of place. So why would East switch to the queen of diamonds? So whenever something unusual happens, I like to stop and try and work out why did that actually happen? So um, firstly, if I lose two diamonds, I'll also lose three clubs and a spade and go down. Um, so I think it's better to work on hearts and hope that, uh, the heart position is a bit friendly. It's a bit of a weird heart suit to be working on. So I think I have to resort to, uh, diamonds anyway, like. I can hope to pick which player has up on a doubleton heart. Like let's say West has queen doubleton heart. I could lead a low heart towards my jack 10. That would hop up with their honor and then I could finesse on the way back. Or if East had it, I could lead the jack and they would cover and I win and then lead towards the 10 on the way back. Um, so both options are possible and East appears to have short diamonds and some length in clubs. So I think returning a heart is fair. Like that queen of diamonds lead just so out of character that is telling me probably shouldn't be playing on diamonds here. Seems like a big call, but uh, 
I was going to resort to like still going on it, but I think that play is just so strange that I am going to uh, play West for Doubleton, Honor, and Hearts and play a low heart here. Okay. And we'll cross over and see if we lose to King, Queen, Doubleton, Heart there. Okay. Um, zero percent out. Okay, so the diamond layout was off, and I was always down one, so. I could have cashed out for down one. Um, oh, some people made it. Let's have a look at what they did. So club up, spade to the 10, queen of diamonds, spade, diamond up, I lost. Cashed another couple of spades. Oh, wow, they get squeezed. All right, so West can't afford the heart and they've got the long club. So catching the winners and they just got squeezed and that actually brought it home. Uh, interesting board. Um, I got a big fat zero, but I think what I did was reasonable. Queen of Diamonds play was really, really strange. Uh, but maybe one reason for that is may maybe like East is like really, really weak. So uh, again, maybe I should take that into account for and not play for them to have any more honors. Okay, moving on to board number four. Um, we've got a fistful of diamonds. We've got eight diamonds and a 14 count. I think I'm just gonna jump to five diamonds. I don't think I really ever wanna be able to find slam and uh, don't think I'm gonna be able to um, Yeah, uh, so all right, eight diamonds. It feels like I'm always wanting to play there anyway. Uh, it doesn't look like this is a great contract. I'm probably going to suffer a club rough. And I also have a diamond loser and a heart. But we'll start with the king of clubs. Firstly, this just unblocks the suit for starters. Um, we've got eight. I can't actually cross to the uh, diamond to finesse the diamonds. So I think I'm just resorting to ace of diamonds, queen of diamonds, and probably be down one. I could play a heart up and hope that west has the ace of hearts and east has the king of diamonds. Seems pretty far-fetched. Crossing in clubs is very likely to suffer a club rough, which I don't want to try and do. Um, ace of diamonds will work if the king of diamonds falls singleton, or if when they win, they don't find the right defense. Um, so we'll go for Ace of Diamonds. Singleton King. Now we're talking. Uh, we've got the rest of the tricks. So it's always nice to drop a Singleton King of Diamonds offside. Uh, some people just in bidding two diamonds. I feel like the eight card suit, it's worthwhile uh, going for it. Wow, the clubs weren't. Uh, They're were actually 2 2. Um, so. I could have crossed and taken a diamond finesse, I guess. So club, nine of diamonds shift and they finessed. That nine of diamonds f shift makes it really, really easy. Ah, oh, that's me. Um, but like there are alternative plays here, um, but dropping the ace of diamonds, ah, oh, that felt good. Um, so currently running nearly 60%, even though we've got a big fat zero on the one on the boards. Um, on to board number five. And here it's gone one spade, two spades. And we've got uh, nine, 12, 18 high card points. And East has a five, five, probably with hearts and 
clubs. We will start by making a Kirei. So even though they haven't bid hearts, bidding the opponent's suit here says um, that's like, I've got this suit stopped. Uh, not, not, I don't know what I'm saying. What it says is I have a fit in spades and 10 or more points. What I was going to say is I'm thinking of bidding three no trumps anyway, um, because we've got both suits stopped and I'm not sure I need to do any more rough, roughing. But the uh, partner wants to go there. And then uh, for f making a slam, let's say partner's got ace, king, queen of spades. And I need way too much, so we'll pass. Bridge boy 52 how's it going, Pete? Uh, yeah, doing good. Having a decent time. Um, here, as you can see, uh, three no trumps would take the exact same tricks as uh, four spades. So... Um, also, how would they go in clubs? They would go okay, wouldn't they? Yeah, I was just wondering about maybe penalizing them as well. Okay, so I probably want some entries to uh, South Hand to maybe pick them up. Do they get a rough? No. Okay. Uh, good news, they had a 6-5. So making the rest and 46%. So three people got two uh, three no trumps. They just bid three no trumps. Now, while I was happy to get to three no trumps, my initial thoughts were maybe slams on. So I wanted to tell my partner we had a fit and maybe investigate slam. That was my initial thoughts. And then after that, that's when I thought, okay, let's just... Uh, um, just offer three no trumps then and there. Um, but my partner, I, I, I would remove it to four spades, but even, as you can see on this hand, uh, three no was good and even better. Oh, six, six, not six, five. Can't even count. Um, wild hand by East. Anyway, uh, board number six. So here we've got 10, 14 highs and a five, four, four. So the one spade. Yeah. Um, do I want to make ooh, penalty double? All right, that, that sorts me. I was wondering if I wanted to make a uh, takeout double of three diamonds, if that was gonna be available. But partner making a penalty double, sounds good. Okay, eight of clubs lead. We're missing the jack and lower card. See partner show up and then they get to uh, here they threw a spade away which is a little unusual okay I think I want my partner on lead to potentially draw trumps this is not going well Uh, seven percent for that. What? Okay, other people just bid three spades, or over two spades bid three hearts. Wow, three hearts is a huge bid. Like here, I was going to pass and just try and make it take out double. Um, I am shocked that they. I think that's the uh, right choice. Like, you got a good hand, but like usually when partner doesn't bid, you want a bit stronger than uh, coming in and uh, bidding three hearts here. Like, it's not outrageous. I'm just like surprised that so many people uh, decided to do that. Um, doubling two spades, usually uh, that looks like a six card suit. So for me, I my, my plan here was to pass and then make a takeout double, which I thought would be a really good description of my hand. Um, here, partner just penalty smashed three diamonds ahead of me. 
And I thought, yeah, sounds good. If they want to do that, they could have a really good hand. Like, um, but uh, the hands obviously did not fit. Like, I, I'm just surprised that so many people bid this way. Um, that I would have thought just passing and seeing partner made a penalty double was like the uh, normal thing to do. 7% is way, way, way lower than I expected. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on to board number seven. Flat 15 count, so nice easy one no trump. Three no trumps. Not worried about my five card major here. We get a diamond lead. Okay, so I have... Th Ooh. So I don't know if that's away from the ace or not. Let's see what happens here for starters. I still don't know. Uh, I've potentially got five heart tricks. I really want East to win something. Like if East has the ace of diamonds, I really want East on lead to not be able to continue diamonds. Uh, I potentially have five hearts, two clubs and the ace of spades. Um, I'm thinking of just ace of clubs, club to the ace, and a third club. And like, I don't want to play a heart to the queen and a club over. I could put, actually, let's start with a club to the king. I think finessing the club is, okay. Ace of clubs, jack of clubs club would have worked really well. Two of spades. Okay, diamond discard. Uh, so I'm starting to think that the hearts are reasonably likely to be 4-1. Um, I could go after... Uh, could go after cl clubs and try and set up one extra trick. West has the ace of diamonds, we're still in a good spot. It's a little bit greedy. I can't even pick up hearts for one anymore. That was silly. I shouldn't have cashed that jacket clubs. So I should have played ace of hearts, heart to the queen earlier. Now when hearts are for one, the heart suit's actually tangled up, which is not good. Okay. So the heart suit's still intact. Um, I think playing a club's too greedy here, so. I think I'll get the ace of spades in the end game anyway, so we'll see if we can uh, set up the diamond. No. Like, hey, king, queen are on side, so probably didn't get that well. 64%, all right. Not sure if I can do any better. So plus two, so I could have gotten better. So I think I had to duck a club in both hands, maybe. Yeah, like play the eight of clubs and let East win it. Um, so eight of clubs, let East win. They can't attack diamonds. So that's a really weird position there, um, but could have done it. Um, anyway, we're back above 50. Final board. So... One diamond, three spades, and we've got 10, 13 points, and a flat hand, so it looks like three no trumps. Oh, like queen third's good enough stopper. Sometimes people are a little bit hesitant, but uh, it'll do the trick. And here, it looks like I just need to play diamonds not to be three, zero, and if they are, pick who's got the three. And West didn't preempt, so let's lay down the king of diamonds straight up. We see them follow and 
then we have uh, 10 tricks. So um, I can potentially hope that East had a singleton heart. So if East has ace, king of spades at the end, then uh, we might be okay. I think this is wholeheartedly unrealistic, but uh, no harm in trying. Ah, I had a heart. 64%. So finish with plus 52%, really flat one there. Um, so overall, all right. Uh, board three, interesting choice. I think I got half of the inferences right about uh, what the diamond layout was, but also why they did it, that playing them for an honor was probably the wrong thing to do. Um, board six, I'm actually really surprised about so many people wanting to bid three hearts immediately. All right, this is a good hand, but I'll, you know that the opponents are probably going to bid three diamonds. And then making a takeout double seem to bring clubs into the picture as well. Um, but obviously my partner jumped the gun and just made a penalty double, which I think is reasonable on their hand as well. Uh, but that worked out uh, terribly. So board six is the board that I'm surprised about, but I think what I did was okay. Uh, board three, a uh, super interesting hand, which I was on the wrong side of. Um, I guess cashing out, like, I guess playing on diamonds and cashing out is a better approach. Cause it's, cause I know the diamond position's bad, but also East shifting to the queen of diamonds should warn me that they don't have much else either. So uh, I think I got half of the inference right, but not the other half. So interesting set of boards. Um, so thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Big shout out to my patron supporters. If you like what I do and want to ch support me, please check out my Patreon in the link over there. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.